Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is um, video number five. It's the last video for this particular worksheet on five hard questions that you can download from Three Minute Maths. And you can also have a look at the playlist that this is part of. OK, what I've done is I've looked at all of the different topics and these are the hardest topics for this particular GCSE year. OK, let's have a look then at question number five. OK, so it is important to point out this is a non-calculator question. It says the diagram shows a right angle triangle. OK, so while I'm thinking about right angle triangle, I'll be thinking about things like Pythagoras and soccer tower and, and that sort of thing. And it says the length of AB is root 5 minus 2. So I'm just going to root uh, add that in, root 5 minus 2. And then BC is going to be root 5 plus 2. OK, then it says, work out, leaving our answers in third form where appropriate. And then firstly, the area of the triangle. OK, well, that should be fairly straightforward. Now, some people would write this as base times height divided by 2. I'm actually going to use a fraction. I'm going to say it's a half base times height. And I always recommend that you do write the formula. It gives you some direction when you're working through these sorts of questions. So it's going to be a half. Multiplied by the base, well the base is going to be root 5 plus 2. And that's going to be multiplied by the height, which is also root 5, but this time it's minus 2. OK, and then it's really a case of expanding those double brackets and then working everything out. So I've got a half and I've got root 5 times root 5 is going to be root 25 and the square root of 25 is 5 okay and then I've got root 5 times minus 2 is minus 2 root 5 but then I've also got plus 2 root 5 so actually I end up with those two cancelling themselves out minus 2 root 5 plus 2 root 5 is 0 so the only thing I've got left then is positive 2 times uh, negative 2 and that's going to be a positive times a negative is a negative so that's going to be negative 4 okay so hopefully that's all right for you so in the brackets I've now got a half multiplied by 1 therefore the area of the triangle must equal a half of a meter squared and that would be worth two marks on this particular question okay and then finally we've got the length AC and as I mentioned before um, we're looking at Pythagoras in this particular question could easily have been soccer tower or something like that but length AC well um, I would use Pythagoras as a squared equals B squared plus C squared now I'm very aware some people do things differently I say C squared equals B squared plus a squared or something like that and that's perfectly fine as well the main issue is is the um, sum of the or the, the sum of the squares on the opposite and the adjacent are equal to the square on the hypotenuse okay so b squared well I'm going to say if I go back to the diagram that b is this length and then c is going to be this length so if I put that directly into the formula I've got five uh, root five minus 2 and that's squared so it's going to be multiplied by root 5 minus 2 again okay and that's going to be equal to the square root of 5 plus 2 multiplied by the square root of 5 plus 2 because that's also then c squared okay and it really is just a case of expanding that and then simplifying it so what do I get well I've got root 5 times root 5 as we did before which is going to get square root of 25 which is 5 now this time I've got root 5 times minus 2 is minus 2 root 5 then I've also got another minus 2 root 5 so I end up with minus 4 root 5 and then I've got minus 2 times minus 2 is positive 4 OK, hopefully that's OK with these sorts of questions. Um, you need to be really practicing how you work with expanding uh, double bracketed terms. And please do let me know if you're not sure. I'll always try and point you in the right direction with some additional materials. OK, so let's have a look at the next set of brackets. So root 5 times root 5. Well, we've already worked out that's going to be 5. Now this time I've got plus 2 root 5 plus 2 root 5 is plus 
4 root 5 and then 2 times 2 is going to be positive 4. And then really it's just a case of tidying everything up. So immediately I can get rid of the third in this particular case, minus 4 root 5 and plus 4 root 5 is going to cancel themselves out. And what I end up with is 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 5 plus 4 is going to be 18. But don't forget that's the value of a squared equals 18. OK, so the length of AC we've said is the hypotenuse, which is A. Well, A is going to be equal to the square root of 18. Now, just be a little bit careful with some of these. Usually on a test it will say something like in its simplest form. Now, if it says that, you know you might have another jump to go through. And if we look at a as root 18, well, that's exactly the same as saying the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 2, which is actually then in its simplest form 3 root 2. So a, c, which is what we're looking for, is equal to 3 root 2. And in its simplest form, that would be the answer to that particular question. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.